are back with the Houston family. We have Pat Houston, who is Whitney's sister-in-law and manager. We have Miss Sissy Houston, her mother, and Rhea, who is Pat's daughter and Whitney's niece. Now, watching the show, Pat, um, I know you said that Whitney would let Bobby Christina have the occasional uh, glass of wine. And watching the show, she was doing a lot of drinking on the show. So um, do you think that Bobby Christina has a drinking problem? Let me just say this. There's no hard liquor involved relative to Chrissy. It could very well be, but there isn't. So she, she's 19. Yeah, she's years 19, old. not a drinking age. I absolutely just prohibit it. I do not like it. You but know. You were worried, and when we watched it, you were concerned. More concerned about her losing her mother and not want. I know she's she's surrounded by us, so therefore we we have her. No, but in the in the part that I saw, both you and Sissy. We're a little concerned that she was drinking too. Getting to that, she's, <laughs> she's, we're concerned about her well-being. Period. The drinking there at, I believe, we're at the, it was at the North Club. The drinking there was mixed with, uh, it was a mimosa, and of course, you know, she, it's that was her reality, being able to have some wine. It was that was allowed for her. Yeah. But, but we, Pat, forgive me, we, I'm not accusing. This was in the in the I, tape you gave you I, gave I, me. In it, you said you were concerned. Of course. Okay. You of know, course. It, it, wait, does, does Bobby Christina live with you and your she husband, Gary? Not. She does not live with you. No. Okay. And Miss Sissy, how do you feel about Bobby Christina and her drinking? Do you think that she might possibly go down the same path as her mother? Do you have that concern? Mm, uh, well, I guess she could if she keeps doing what she's doing, if she's drinking. Because her father Heavy. also has had uh, well, see, yeah, problems it's all... as well. Or in her path, so I hope not. And I'm in New Jersey, and she's in California, so I don't really have a little enough time. And it's, she's got to do it. Oh, Georgia, right? Mm -hmm. California, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <And she's> in, <laughs> at this stage of the game, I'm not there. Does she have supervision? Yeah. Is she with somebody? She has. She she has this, and it's not a situation. She's not in trouble as it re relates no, to drinking. Not. We're not concerned. I had concern seeing her sitting there watching her. I don't like it at all. But there's this is this was her reality even before her mother passed. I don't like it, but we're working on it, and she's growing. The girl is growing. She's you, you, we're seeing her more. <laughs> she we're dealing with life management skills as it relates to Bobby Christina. There's and a lot of positiveness. I say, well, I, I'm giving you credit because this is not a, you're doing a reality series and it's very rare, unreal. I mean, you left in the fact that you were concerned, the kinds of things that, that we're not accusing you of. This is what we saw in the tape. But I, I'd like to ask a little bit more because you're also worried about uh, something like $20 million that may. Uh, go to Bobby Christina and when she should get it and so forth. But at the time of her death, several of her closest advisors said that she was broke. Closest, closest who? Advisors. Advisors, wow. <laughs> yeah. Said that it, it was reported that she had no money. So has this 20 million happened with the sale of records and music afterwards? First of or all, there's it... no 20 million. Not true. That's the, that's the total misconception okay. there, okay? She did not die broke, and that's all I will say. But there is no 20 million, and she's not, she wasn't broke when she passed. So oh, somewhere absolutely. between the two is the truth. No. In the first place, can I say this? When you got a teenager who's 19 years old, who loses her mother and really don't feel like she really has to listen, do you know how that is? You've got teenagers, I'm sure you've worked with them and all that. But you can't make anybody do anything. You try to suggest and you try to guide her and all of that kind of business. But that's exactly what we're trying to do. Trying to guide her into a life that's going to make her better than it. We just have to say, because we sound a little, maybe a little harsh, that we think what you've all, this whole family has gone through, it, it even makes me cry. It's just been so horrendous. So whatever you feel is the best to do, we're with you, okay? And That's what we're trying to do. It's a very special, special for. woman, sissy, and I know I'm how much you care. I've been there a lot of times where I might make a bigger difference, maybe, right. but I've never been around her that much because she was always on the road with her mom.